Um, now, you know, I can kind of um, simplify number three here to be basically something like the different shapes of production possibility frontiers. So we've seen one of these shapes already. Let's just stick with my quantity of candy quantity of pens example here. The one we looked at was like this. This was a linear PPF. And as a linear PPF, what we were doing here was we were saying that the opportunity cost was constant. And it's relatively easy to start off with a point like this just because, um, well, the math is rather simple um, with this kind of thing. So to go from A to B, that the slope from A to B is the same as the slope from C to D. And that the slope from A to D is the slope the same as the slope from B to C, right? It's all constant. The opportunity cost is constant. Alternatively, we could have the same two products, quantity of candy, quantity of pens. And alternatively, I could have it bowed outwards. Now this is still PPF. This is basically called an increasing PPF. And this is actually the kind of production possibilities frontier that you will most commonly encounter. Um, the reason why you will commonly encounter this one is actually the subject of the next pencast, uh, bullet point number four here. But what we're saying here is that if I go from A to B, that the slope is different than if I were going to C to D. A to B is more or less flatter, is a flatter portion of this curve than the C to D portion. How do I know that? Well, what you could do is, what we tend to do in mathematics is we draw lines of tangency just to kind of generally estimate what the slope is along a curve. And what you can see here is that the line of tangency is going from flatter to steeper. So what we see here is that the opportunity cost, because it's getting steeper, is that the opportunity cost is increasing as I read this, as I read the graph from left to right. Now, um, we have to deal with why that's the case. That's again the subject of the next video. So I'm not, uh, I'm not, not dealing with this. I'm just dealing with this um, in the next video. Um, another way to read this would be is that A to B to get more pens requires a small sacrifice of candy. C to D, for C to D to get the same increase in pens, I'm sorry, to get um, the same, um, I actually, this is the reverse way actually, sorry, um, let me just adjust this here. Um, it's reversed because I'm actually getting less pens and more candy. Not the other way around. Um, 
I'm giving up some candy to, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting some candy as I get fewer pens. But, read the other way, um, to get the same increase in candy, To go from C to D requires, uh, to get that same increase in candy, requires an even larger now decrease in pens. Again, the reason why I crossed some things out here was that I was actually, I originally wrote as going from B to A rather than A to B. But the idea, as you can see from the slope, is that the slope is actually measuring how many pens I give up for more candy. What we can see here is that I don't give up a lot of pens, but I do get a lot more candy. Over here, I have to give up a lot of pens to get very little of an increase in candy. The third option would be quantity of candy, quantity of pens, and it's actually bowed inward. And this is called a decreasing PPF. And here, the opportunity costs are decreasing. Now, I will deal with this one now. You don't see this one that often. And the reason what we're seeing here is that, uh, what the story would be for why this looks to be this way, is that A to B... C to D. What you can see is that the curve is getting flatter and flatter left to right. So basically it's saying that we're getting better and better at making candy. Why? Because maybe as we make more and more candy, we can have an assembly line, we can do special production for producing lots of candy. Basically that we're better at making the thing as we get bigger.